Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It's your boy DJ Naruto85, and guys, I'm here to talk to you about Xenoverse 2 and other games I will be getting this year. Hopefully, I get. But, anyways, guys, I, uh, I saw the Xenoverse 2 uh, trailer. It looked pretty nice, you know. And for me, I'm not a Xenoverse fan. I never, when I first saw the game, I never wanted to get it at all. Like, I never wanted to get that shit. I was just like, what the fuck? Because it kind of reminded me of Battle of Z, and we all know Battle of Z was a. Uh, pretty bad game but it was if it was fun while it lasted but it was pretty bad and some of the aspects from Z, um battle of z kind of came into a xenoverse a little bit and i didn't like that because you know when you think of a dragon ball z game you think about the cinematics the clashes it was just amazing and like in battle of z you couldn't clash and you didn't really have cinematics for certain moves you use which is kind of suck except for like your ultimate but anyways like for uh xenoverse 2 I hope they add a whole bunch of new features, like more hairstyles for customization. Hopefully, we're able to like uh, transfer our character from Xenoverse to Xenoverse 2. I hope we're able to uh, change clothes, and our clothes don't affect our power status and shit. With well, certain clo clothes, because uh, there's some clothes I just don't like really, and it doesn't fit me. I hope we can customize our own outfits, like make our own outfits. That would be pretty cool as well. And I hope we can fly around in the hub. The scene I saw with us flying around, like flying in the hub in the Xenoverse 2 trailer kind of looked like it was like in a cinematic. Like it was just a scene, not a, a person actually fl flying like with gameplay. So I hope the gameplay gets better. The cinematics look beautiful as always. Cinematics always look beautiful. And I hope we get a uh, uh, DBZ. I want to feel more immersed into this DBZ world. Like, I hope we can clash in there. Um, I hope we can deflect certain moves in there. Like, uh, if you ever play Rage and Blast, you can just deflect certain moves, which is pretty fucking sick. I hope we can clash ultimates, because that would be fucking awesome and amazing. And I hope we have cinematics for, like, ultimate moves. Like, the, um, like, uh, <clears throat> like, uh, Special Beam Cannon, you know, Spirit Bomb, you know, all that good stuff. And also, I hope uh, our ultimate attacks can affect their environment as well. Like, say if someone uses a spirit bomb, that shit should blow up the fucking environment. Like, we should do what, like, Naruto does. You know, you do your ultimate, and then it shows, like, the earth, and then it, you know, it's crazy. They should do that, and it should affect their environment, you know, and, like, just stay like that. And, like, be an actual Dragon Ball Z game. Xenoverse is pretty funny, because I bought the game myself, and I loved it. Like, you have to grind on certain missions, and I hope they fix that, uh, the little, uh, ultimate finish thing, because sometimes that shit just happens randomly. You don't, you don't really have to, some, some missions you have to do certain things to get that ultimate finish, but, like, certain times you gotta, you gotta get lucky to be able to get it, and it makes it very repetitive, and I hope they allow us to have our own unique, uh, fighting style, because I, I get sick of, like, everybody having the same fighting style, like, it fucking sucks, like, I wish they gave us more. And I will hopefully they uh they just make this game way better and more what well, and have more variety. And also uh it seems like Xenoverse 2 will be taking us through some movies. Like I saw uh like you might be fighting Garlic Jr. in that shit. Like it'll be pretty cool to fight Garlic Jr., you know? It should uh we might fight Hirita Garn, that little beetle shit from uh, the movie, which was pretty cool too. And I hope we can fight Janemba, that fat ass bro. Like, bro, that would be fucking awesome. <clears throat> Other than that, bro, Xenoverse 2 looks like uh, it's going to be fun. I will be getting that game. And I'm still thinking, should I buy Overwatch or not? I might buy it like later on in the future or whatever, or probably tomorrow. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm pretty confused. Also, I will be getting Attack on Titan because that comes out five days after my birthday august 30th so that's gonna be fucking awesome i'm gonna get uh i'm also gonna try to get uncharted 4 i'm catching up with the uh, story right now all i gotta do is be uh uncharted 3 and then i'll be caught up uh what else i'm getting final fantasy i will be getting final fantasy that's a game i really want final fantasy looks great like holy shit the graphics are amazing like man oh my gosh like wow <clears throat> And yeah, man, I'm, it's so many games that's coming out this year. Probably Battlefield 1 as well. I might be getting that too. Uh, right now, Naruto is kind of dying on me, but I still will be putting gameplay out for that. I just need to get uh, 
more variety of games in in my ch on my channel right now because I have so many games I might want to show off soon. You know, probably do walkthroughs on one of them. I know Xenoverse 2, I will be doing a walkthrough on that. I will definitely do a walkthrough on that because I love the story for Xenoverse 1. I still haven't beat it yet. I'm kind of close. I'm like level 31. I got this game like three, two days ago. And I'm like level 48 right now. I think I am. And I, I love I love the um, leveling up system for Xenoverse. It's pretty great, you know. If they want to add more stuff to it, they can. But I like the level the um, the level up system. How you get points and then you put that in your attribute points, so you can make your uh, super attacks, your basic attacks, your stamina, and uh, your key blasts and crap like that stronger, which is awesome. Like that's amazing. And I like how you can go up to level 100. I think because my friend was talking about it yesterday, he's trying to get to 100 and it's taking him a long time. But you know that's cool too. And like to be honest, I just enjoy. I enjoy this game very much. It might die out fast. I'm trying the platinum Xenoverse right now, <clears throat> and I like the story. And I hope the fighting becomes very coordinated because sometimes I hate like trying to fly and then like I punch and then I'm like way behind the fucking character and I'm like what the fuck <laughs> you know when it locks on it should lock on like the coordination is better I hope we have different uh basic attacks uh a variety of basic attacks we could choose from because I hate fighting the same way as everybody everybody have the same fighting style which is which sucks I hope they give us more characters because I mean in a Xenoverse 2 trailer they gave us they showed who they showed a Zarbon and Dodora Dodora no Dodora or um Dodora I forgot how you say his name the pink fat girl I think he's a girl or a boy I, I think he's a girl but um I think she's a girl to be honest but that man they should have been in the game I don't care about them show us some things from Super I hope they kind of uh, take the story into Super a little bit you know when they fought uh in the uh in the little tournament they had with a uh, hit in them and cob i would love to see Kaba and i hope they allow us to go super saiyan god for xenoverse 2 i am praying that would be amazing i know you guys would be hella happy if they allowed us to go super saiyan god and super saiyan god super saiyan that would be fucking amazing like i would enjoy that shit to the fullest you guys don't understand i would enjoy that game to the fullest right now for xenoverse you can only go up to super saiyan 2 which sucks i wish they would have gave us super saiyan 3 i hope they change that for xenoverse 2 and allow us to go super saiyan 1 2 and 3 and um and super saiyan god and super saiyan god super saiyan that would just make it more fun you know and I'll feel more immersed in the Dragon Ball Z Ram as we travel through time to save people. And I know, you know, it's it would make sense for them to do that. Hopefully, if they take us to um, through a Dragon Ball Super a little bit, it will make sense for them to give us a Super Saiyan God transformation, which probably could cost like two hundred thousand or five hundred thousand. That would be cool. I would enjoy that. I would have no problem with that. I would save up all that money just to get that shit. Cause I mean. It would be awesome and hopefully they give it there will be a side effect after it like dies out because you know if you go super saiyan 2 your stamina goes away quicker and shit like that once that shit is off your stamina is like gone in your key so it's like what the fuck <clears throat> so anyways guys that's all i have to say today i hope you guys enjoy this fucking video and i will catch up to you guys later please like comment subscribe and peace out
Yep. Give it, you fool! Give him the pudding! That was too close. Here, Lord Beerus. Ah. Thank you. Now then. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ten, why didn't you catch it, dude? Yeah, because you threw it too hard, Trunks. By the way, how'd you do that crazy curveball? You idiot! Lord Beerus! <laughs> now I'm If you don't give me my pudding, I'll punish you. He, he won't stop! And he's not even fighting at full power! Go ten! You learn some manners and stuff! Earthlings might eat it all the time. It's us to let Even bigger than Goku's! Do it, Father! Beat down that so-called god of destruction! Whis! You rang, Lord Beerus? Seeing Super Saiyan God is nothing but a stupid fantasy, like you said. Screw this. I'm destroying Earth and going home. Wait! I'm a Super Saiyan God. I have to gather the energies of anyone who has a righteous heart. Everyone, share your strength with me! Okay, damn, nigga, chill.